Supreme Court of Canada, case study number four, Basley versus Curry. This case was decided in 1999. Basley is a leading case on the concept of vicarious liability. The court considered the extent of employer liability for the criminal actions of an employee. The facts in Basley were the defendant, Curry, was a longtime employee of Children's Foundation Caring for Resident Children. The foundation investigated after complaints and found Curry had been abusing children in his care. The foundation fired Curry. The plaintiff, Basley, was abused by Curry and sought damages from the foundation. Basley was an appeal from the BC Court of Appeal. In the BC Supreme Court, the court applied the Salmon test, where employers are vicariously liable for employee torts falling within the scope of employment. Abuse committed within the scope of employment foundation found vicariously, vicariously liable for abuse. The BC Court of Appeal affirmed the trial ruling, expanding its reasons to comment on policy considerations. The main issue in Basley is whether the foundation was vicariously liable for its employees' sexual assault of a child in its care. Specifically, may employees be held vicariously liable for their employees' sexual assaults on clients or persons within their care? And if so, should nonprofit employers be exempted from liability? The appellants and the foundation's arguments were, the second branch of Salmon test applies. Liability arises from unauthorized acts so connected with authorized acts that they may be regarded as modes, albeit improper modes, of doing an authorized act. And second, its employees' sexual assaults of Basley were not modes of doing an authorized act. In summary, the uh, respondents, or Curry's arguments, were the assaults were a mode of performing authorized tasks, and courts have often found employers vicariously liable for intentional wrongs of employees comparable to sexual assault. The court dismissed the foundation's appeal, expounding on the policy considerations for finding the foundation liable for its employees' conduct. Holding the employer vicariously liable for the wrongs of its employee may encourage the employer to take such preventative steps and hence reduce the risk of future harm. Basley's legacy was to apply the doctrine of vicarious liability in a pragmatic policy and facts-based context. Vicariously liability should be closely and materially related to a risk introduced or enhanced by an employer, otherwise it serves no deterrent purpose. In 2005, the Supreme Court of Canada revisited the doctrine in a case of alleged residential school abuse, Blackwater versus Plant. The decision in Blackwater reaffirmed the principles from Basley and leaned heavily towards policy considerations in imposing shared vicarious liability between the federal government and church entities that operated the residential school. 